Hi, welcome to Rising Vibration. I'm Inga. This reading is for Pisces for the week of February 18th through the 25th. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising. I've already shuffled the cards. I'm going to shuffle it one more time, then we will cut in. I feel like there's not any big upsets for Pisces for the week of February 18th through the 25th. More or less the same. Wondering what you'll do next. Especially if you've been approached by an offer. Or someone's trying to give you something, Pisces, that you're not sure if you want it. Now that could be an offer for a new position or an offer of emotion, love, relationship, and you're not sure if this is the right situation for you. You're not sure about the long term. Perhaps the shorter term looks interesting just for fun, nothing serious, not being sure how serious you want to get with this person or situation because you feel like the person is not really your kind of a person. Uh, the person seems a bit harsh for you, Pisces. And the person may make you nervous in a way. They may be a bit more forward and not so sensitive maybe too abrasive abrasive for you and you feel perhaps like your feelings have been heard a few times in the exchanges that you've had with them yes the person is a bit direct i also feel like the person is like pisces are in a situation where a lot of people are coming to them for more emotional support and this is burdening the Pisces because there's this feeling of why do you keep coming to me and telling me what's bothering you or telling me about things that happened in your past and I'm not sure I absolutely want to hear this but the Pisces is listening and trying to give support and advice where they can but it feels it feels like a burden for the Pisces to be this shoulder to lean on in the week of February 18th through the 25th and they're wondering Especially if this is a relationship or a potential love partnership, if it's the right person for them. Or if this is a fluke, like the person feels like, oh, uh, you're getting to know me. Or if this will be a regular occurrence with this person, like a woe is me type of personality. We have the, yeah, we have the six of cup in the tower. Yeah, a lot of recap about things that happened in the past and being quite... Uh, disappointed and destroyed by this the death card loss losses from the past and having to hear a lot about it and the devil major arcana so the pisces is feeling like they're not sure if they want to continue with this or hear about it and yeah but they're they're still being there for the person as much as they can because they're very sympathetic towards what the person has gone through if this is a work situation, I feel like perhaps even a work colleague is coming forward with a lot of complaints to the Pisces and the Pisces is being that shoulder to lean on. But they're like, if you have all these problems or concerns, why don't you go to our supervisor or boss and let them know about it? So let's see what else we have here. We have the Ace of Cups with the Knight of Cups, guys. We have the Nine of Cups. We have the Ten of Cups. And we have the Three of Cups for Pisces overall. This looks like a great week for Pisces, especially if in fact you are in a position to meet someone new. And maybe this is also why you're having some doubts because you feel like instinctually this isn't the right person for you. Perhaps you can be friends, but there's something else there. There's someone else there that's waiting for you that you anticipate will be there 
Perhaps you haven't met them yet, but you know that there must be more. There's something more waiting for you. So you're a bit reluctant to be more than just a friend with this new love potential or anyone new coming into your life. If this is a work situation, similar scenario, maybe not taking the first job offer that's coming in because you feel like there's more to be found or waiting for you. So that's what I have for Pisces for the week of February 18th through the 25th. Thank you for joining me, guys. I'm up to 500 subscribers. Thank you for this. It's very exciting for me. Yay. <laughs> and don't forget to look at the Quora feed if you would like more information about me, my views. This was done for those of you who cannot pick up the book right now that I wrote, A Fierce Bitch's Guide to Getting Over a Lying, Cheating, Sabotaging Partner. But you can still kind of see my line of thinking and the questions and answer sessions in Quora. So thank you for joining me guys and I will see you next week. Bye-bye.